Okay, you guys, welcome back. So let's dive right in. Um, today you will be connecting your MacBook Pro to your HD TV, and to do that, you're gonna need two things. Um, first thing you will need is your mini Display Port to HDMI adapter. Um, I got mine from Best Buy, and it's also made from Rocketfish. They have different brands, that on the, um, the Apple brand, but I got it yesterday because Apple was all out. But this is a good wire too. I used it last night and it's very, very good. Um, I'll, show you how, I'll show you guys how the wire look. I mean, the display port right here. You see it's not that big and it's not that small. Um, the top, you got your display port where we plug into your Mac. Um, the little adapter right here, Rocketfish, and your HD and my core will go into there. Second, you will need an HDMI cable. This cable is 3D. 3D capability and it comes in full 1080p. On um, this one is the gold tip. You can get one without the gold tip too, but those are a little bit higher and it matters how long it is. This is, this is an eight feet cord, so I'll show you guys how that looks too. Because it's really, really long when you take it out. These are the gold tips I'm talking about. They might look gold, but they really is. Um, so those two wires, you're gonna, that's all you're gonna need to connect your HD television, I mean, to connect your Mac to your HD television. The only thing, this, this will produce the video and this will produce your audio. So let's get started. Okay guys, step one is to get your mini display port to HDMI um, adapter and plug it into your MacBook Pro. So pop off the top. You do protect it too, by the way. You can see it's very clean. And all you want to do is plug this into the side of your MacBook Pro. Okay, and you just push that in. And you're now connected. Make sure it's good and snug. Okay, you guys. And the second thing you want to do is plug one end of your HDMI cable into your mini display port. Get one end of your HDMI cable and plug it directly into your display port. And you see, we got step one. Complete. Step three, get the other end of your HDMI cable and plug it into the back of your TV into HDMI slot one. Step two, you want to plug your HDMI wire into the slot slot one. And there you go. That's all you want to do. Make sure it's good in there. And it's a HDMI one. Okay, guys. Once everything connected, you want to go down to system options. Go to displays. And what you want to do now is go up to your TV options and put detect systems. Okay, once it detect that, your TV should be right here. You see mine says Sony TV and it's set to 1080p and um, the color is 9, 1920 by 1200. Um, to set your TV to 1080, go and the options are open so you want to go to resolutions, I mean displays. And click 1080p. In arrangement, set on um, select mirror displays, and you can and you can play around with this to get your color right. Okay, guys. Once you got that, to get the audio to play to your TV, go to system, go to sound, and output. Your TV should be right there below, and then you can want to click your TV, and then press X. So, guys, let's go back to the camera. I'll show you guys how it looks. Okay, everything connected. Now the final step. Get your remote. Select input. Scroll down to HDMI 1. And there's my MacBook Pro. Okay guys, I'm going to show you guys that it got sound on the TV and not on the laptop. You can see that through the TV and not my laptop. YouTube, same time. Okay. I'm here to unboxing for Thanks for watching YouTube. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, please leave a comment below if you got need any help. Peace. How does the brain connect with the body?